welcome back to Cook and Inspire back in the kitchen again with Chef Garnet. Yeah, man, and today I'm gonna do um, some curry goat and brown straw fish with rice and peas, you know. And, and if you guys notice, yeah, this is not my home. I know what you guys are thinking. This is not my home. This is um, a kitchen that we have just renovated in the courtesy of our client, Olivia. Yeah, man, she invited me over to to christen our kitchen you know this is the first time this kitchen gonna be cooked in and on this beautiful snow this beautiful island and and what most of you guys have been thinking what do i do in my out of cooking experience <laughs> i'm not sure if that's the, the right word but yeah my out of cooking job yeah so this is one of the things that we do out of cooking you know cooking just a hobby i would love to do it um this beautiful kitchen that you've seen here my friend and i who put this together you know so it's beautiful so if you want a kitchen um to be done come on contact with me and don't forget to follow me on instagram you know, you know cook and inspire yeah underscore 76 and guess what i'm on tiktok also now at cook at cook underscore Inspire, yeah man, follow me on um, TikTok as well and Facebook, they're on all the platforms there. So look out, shut down it and take that it again. So, welcome back, guys. So, we're gonna start to season up our goat meat, you know. Make sure your goat meat is washed with lemon and vinegar. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay, guys. So, this is my ingredients that I'll be using to. Season my curry goat. I've got scallion, I've got onion, thyme, ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, and the works goes on. I'll show you the powder season that I'll be using. Um, different process. So onion, bam bam bam. So, onion, chop up. I want to throw everything in the pot, in the bowl. Authentic Jamaican style curry goat we are giving. This is how we do it. Alright, spring onion. Yeah. You that knife going through them thing like you know. Brother Ramsey, watch out you know. <laughs> yeah, so Ginger is a must. Now your curry goat. Some people don't like ginger, you know, you don't have to put it if you don't like it. Ginger. All those brown season. That's what will let your curry goat taste nice, so. Time. See it there. Garlic, you need garlic. Let's get them out of the pot. Yeah, my many of you see, I've done curry goat videos before but this one is an exclusive you know this is what been requested so yeah why not and all this guy if you don't like your curry goat to be too hot always remember to move the seeds because that's where the flame is in the seed yeah see that this out the way so guys some pimento berries just use a knife crush them like that. Lots of flavor in those berries. Like right, salt. Pink salt. And guys, the good old Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. You just need about two tablespoons. If you need more, you can add more. We'll give it a nice flavor. So if you haven't tried it before, then you can go ahead and try it. And I'm also gonna use some 
some Portland jerk season. That's a bit of spice in that as well, you know. So curry, better pack. I'm gonna use some cumin seed there. Eh? Not too much because it's very strong. Just a little bit of and good old Maggie. My wife always has a problem with me and Maggie. You know, so she's a bit jealous of Maggie, but Alright, so let me go and put on some gloves. Our oh, curry goat season and it's over there marinating. So now we're gonna season our fish. Okay, so all you need is a little bit of salt, pepper, you know, and I'm gonna use some jerk season on this because I like it a bit fiery. Okay, let me dry my hand. So, salt. So here we are now, we're going to put our peas to boil. So what we're using, we're using a small pack of peas. I'm not using the, the original um, kidney beans, I'm using cow peas. You know, most of you are Jamaican are used to this, this um, peas. Okay, so one small pack. I've got about five cups of water in there. And now, this piece of ginger in there. I like to boil my peas with my ginger and my garlic, so three cloves of garlic, you know, two sprinkle of thyme, and I'll crack some fermented berries in there, around six fermented berries in there. Because don't forget, you want flavor in your rice and peas. All right, so the salt. And that's it. Leave that to boil for around 15 minutes and then you should be good. I'll come back and show you when my I'm gonna put my curry goat in. Even pot covered. My curry goat. So so a bit of oil in the pot. Not too much. And what you're gonna do now, you don't wanna you don't wanna put your garlic and your ginger when the oil is hot. So you just put it in there. Yeah? That's a flavor, extra flavor. There's a few cumin seeds in there. You wanna have, you wanna have that um, Indian taste as well. And just a bit of curry, just to burn it a bit. Some people say they burn the curry because they don't want to better hurt them. I think that is nonsense. You know, I burn the curry because I need a bit more flavor. Always remember that. Flavor is important. Yeah, so that's. As you can see. So what we're gonna do now? Right. Near my gloves again. These gloves are a bit too small for my hand. I'm gonna try and fit in these gloves. You can use a hand if you don't mind scrubbing them still. So I'm gonna take the goat. Let's put them in there. Let me stir. So my peas is nearly there, in about five to ten minutes, and it should be done. So what I'm be doing now, I'll be seasoning my pot, my for my rice and peas. So you need, you need just some spring onion, thyme again, scotch bonnet pepper, coconut cream. I'm using one can, one can, cans, eh? In there and and because I'm not using a Jamaican coconut egg grater, I'm using some virgin coconut oil. This is this is 100 coconut oil, so we give it that nice coconut flavor. You know, so you don't need much because it's really strong. See that? And still, mmm, real coconut. We're gonna need. Some butter. Mm. 
So I'm all prep for the season, muggy. Just a little sprinkle of black pepper. Oops. So watch, watch, never mind. The occasion season. Leave that to come to a boil for another 10 minutes and then the rice is ready to go in. Simple. Right, guys, I'm gonna do my my brown show fish. Okay, so I've got Irish potato, spring onion, carrots, bell peppers, a bit of thyme, garlic. I'm gonna saute is vegetable. And I'll be using some mix, some frozen mixed vegetable. That's what helps for the gravy. Frozen. <laughs> Quick in. Let's sit. Brown straw fish. Yeah, so welcome back guys. So this is it. We are finished cooking now. And now it's time for us to eat. You know, lovely food we have over here. We got curry goat. Look at that. Curry goat. And we got rice and peas over here. And we got our coleslaw. We got cucumber with tomato. Glaze with vinegar and olive oil. And over here we got brown stew snapper fish. Yeah man, so guys, I this is all. I will play the bar food as a siwa guan. So hold on there. Grab a plate. Alright, so this is a lady for the house, you know. She don't want she don't want to show herself on camera. <laughs> but it's alright. You know, when cooking is for in the kitchen, it's not no normal thing. So, here we have a brown straw snapper fish. What do you have? What do you have in it? I want fish, Olivia. Eat, man. She paid all that for fish. No uh, way! That's a bit sexist. <laughs> oh, okay, you can't shout out the video. <laughs> so here it is. Yeah man, this is Olivia's dinner. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Yeah man, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. You know, so it's Cook and Inspire. What we now want to say? In and out there. Kitchen! Yeah, kitchen. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, so, bless you guys. <laughs>